Scott, you'll go first for normal protocols. Okay. Whether you have a question or not, you're going first. Better think one up here pretty quick. I promised Joey that Mox would make his debut. Okay, we'll get going here. I was trying to wait out for CIA, but don't see him yet. Everybody that needs record permissions, have them. Speak up if you don't. Hey, so, DB, could you get me? I had to sorry. leave and then restart it. Yeah, I can't. I have to be at the command center to do this. I can't do it from my phone. So, Okay, we're going to get started. Come on in, Brandon. I'll see, and then I'm gonna have to adjust this because you're a different height than myself. Right, I got you. <laughs> right here. Yeah, that's good. Everybody can hear Brandon, okay? Is that right? You guys right. can hear him. Yeah, all good. Yeah. Okay. okay, Scott, you go ahead and get us started. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. Um, I guess I'm just curious what the last. You know, it's been three, four months have been like for me. It's just since you got to campus, trying to you know maybe get you know acclimated in a rather unusual preseason. Sure. Um, yeah. And no, obviously, you know, like you said, it's not really you know like like a normal year would be. Um, you know, coming to campus as a freshman and you know kind of getting um, acclimated with the team, all the guys, and, and school um, is a big part of that too. But you know, I've been having you know really good time. I think everyone, especially all the guys, you know, been very um, you know, welcoming. I felt, you know, like you know, with open arms, you know, everyone coming in and, um, you know, the coaching staff all together and, you know, workouts, obviously, you know, adjusting to that, you know, college, the level, um, you know, the, 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 the difference in the level of workouts, you know, compared to high school or AAU that, you know, that I've been doing for the past four years. Um, you know, but I've, it's, it's, it's been for, you know, for how much, you know, you can, again, is, is a different time. I think, you know, I've, I've made the best of it and I'm having a really good time so far. So. I guess what's been, or what was my priority number one for you with both Fletch and then also, you know, just in you know, basketball specifically. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, obviously for me, I think, you know, putting on weight and strength is, you know, was number one on, you know, right up there for um, in terms of priorities coming here. Um, you know, I've already done a pretty good job with it, adding, you know, about 10, 10, 15 pounds, you know, since I've been here and, you know, want to keep, um, you know, going with that. But, you know, apart from that, and again, you know, kind of just adjusting to, you know, the physicality, um, you know, just practices. And obviously it's going to, um, you know, games is a completely different level as well, but, you know, adjusting to that physicality um, of just, you know, big 10 basketball in general, um, you know, I think mentally that was a big part of it for me, you know, just kind of, Getting going with that was, um, you know, pretty important because, you know, it's something that, you know, if you can't, if you can't take care of that, you know, it's a lot of the other stuff is, you know, it's, it's hard. You don't, have, you don't have that confidence in, um, you know, in practices and games and, you know, playing your hardest. Um, so, you know, that, that was pretty big on my list too. Anything specifically from, you know, maybe the mental aspect you were either, you know, making sure you focused on or any challenges you've had to maybe overcome in the last few months? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, like I was saying, I think the you know, like confidence and just the mentality, you know, going into some of these practices is um, is a big difference. Again, obviously, it's such between you know, what what I've been doing the past four years in high school and then coming here, um, you know, playing against you know the best of the best, you know, two of the best bigs in the, in the whole country right now. Um, you know, learning a lot from them, and I think, you know, kind of at, at, at the start, you know, it was a little kind of just observing, but you know, now that you know, I've learned. Continu you know, continuing every day to, you know, kind of learn from them, um, you know, using that. And then again, like that confidence is, you know, just in practice, um, you know, having that mentality that, you know, I can do some of these things and, you know, there's still areas I need to improve, but I think that's, you know, a big part of it. Okay, go ahead, Joy. 
Hey, Brandon, hope you're doing well. Uh, you mentioned going up against some of those bigs. Obviously, Kofi's a guy who, you know, looked at the NBA. What is that like for you going up a- against Kofi every day? Yeah, you know, it's, um, you know, like I said, I think just the amount I've learned and, you know, from him and in Georgia, like in the past three months is, you know, really tremendous. Um, you know, obviously, like you said, you know, he's, you know, he's going to end up being, you know, possibly a lottery pick next year. And, you know, being able to go up against someone with that, you know, physical ability, you know, as well as the skill set, um, you know, obviously for anyone, it's obviously not, you know, going to be an easy challenge at first. But, you know, um, again, I think I'm, I'm learning more every day. And I think, you know, that physicality that, you know, that he brings, um, you know, after, um, you know, he's passed on, I think, you know, if I can replicate that, you know, going forward, I think it'll be that much more, um, that much more of an advantage for me, you know, just acting like I'm playing against Kofi every day when, you know, I'm playing against guys who might even be a little, a little bit smaller, a little less skilled, um, and just having that mentality. What's the best way for you to learn? Is it by asking questions? Is it by repetition? I mean, for you personally, how do you best consume that knowledge? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, for me, I'm not, I'm not really someone that, you know, it's afraid to ask questions. I think, you know, all through practice, um, you know, again, just observing, you know, watching what they're doing and kind of just trying to add some of their, you know, skill sets and their mindsets into my own bag and, you know, going out there when I do get, you know, the, the reps and practice and trying to replicate it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, asking questions and, and again, you know, those, those two guys and really all the, you know, all the veterans on the team and, you know, even the other freshmen were all, you know, helping each other along the way, you know, if I'm, you know, in a drill and, you know, I, I do something wrong and, you know, I'll come out and, you know, Georgie or Kofi, um, you know, or any, any of the older guys are, you know, pulling me aside, kind of saying, you know, do make sure you're doing this or, you know, look for this, you know, going forward next time you, you know, you, you get out there and then do that drill. So it's been really helpful so far. My last thing for you is you committed in June and obviously by the end of July, Iowa and Kofi are back and this team's, you know, got quite a bit of attention on it. What's it been like for you kind of learning how to keep that intensity every day and what it, you know, what it takes to be a part of a top 10 team in practice and everything that goes into that? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, sure. Like you said, you know, I committed in, in you know, June with no idea of, you know, whether they were going to, re- you know, return or not. I just knew this, you know, this was a, a program that I wanted to be a part of regardless. Um, and obviously, you know, having that kind of talent and experience, um, you know, back and, you know, like you said, being in a, in a top 10 program is, you know, it's, it's really, I'm just, you know, really just thrilled to be here and having that, you know, being able to have this experience, um, you know, I'm just so excited for the season. You know, I don't think it's, no, no matter what happens, I don't think it's, it'll be one that, you know, I ever forget. And like you said, you know, having kind of watching them, you know, two of the best players in the country, you know, go at it every day as hard as they can. That really just kind of motivates me more, you know, saying it, seeing if they can do it, then you know, I, I have really no excuse at that point where, as you know, why I can't do it too. Thanks a lot, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Um, you've got, you know, incoming freshmen as well with, with yourself and Coleman. You've got Adam Miller and, uh, and Andre. They're kind of guys that get a lot of attention. What is that kind of, I guess, how do you kind of react to that, knowing that, you know, you might be kind of an under-the-radar guy. Does that kind of give you just a little more excitement to maybe, you know, put in some work and then really just kind of show people what you can do once the season actually starts? Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, obviously, um, you know, like you said, they're, you know, they've been throughout high school, they were, you know, top prospects and got a lot of attention. Um, but, you know, I think, I think it kind of goes both ways. Like you said, you know, not having that, you know, you have a little more edge to you and, you know, you're not really, like you said, under the radar. So, you know, you're kind of, you know, fighting to prove yourself, um, you know, but at the same time, I think, you know, it's kind of nice because I can, you know, kind of just focus in and, you know, really worry about myself. And I mean, obviously, you know, any good player is, you know, you know, going to get, get, get that kind of attention. But, um, you know, I think just, yeah, being with all three of them, you know, it's, you know, we're all, you know, we're all the same, you know, we're 18 year old kids, you know, just here trying to, trying to do our best working hard every day. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's been great so far. When you envision that breakout game that, that you hopefully eventually have, where does that come? Is it uh, is it a big rebounding performance? Is it scoring? Is it just kind of defensive prowess? Where uh, where does that kind of breakout performance hopefully come for you this year? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think you know, as I'm you know three months three months being here, you know, you kind of learn um, as to you know what what really is expected of bigs in this league, and if you want to be you know a, a top performer, it's you know. It really is. It comes down to, you know, defense and rebounding. 
um, you know, being a hustle guy that, um, you know, it's really not all about, you know, filling that you know, stat sheet with, you know, with points and, and all that stuff. But, you know, I'm really, again, I'm kind of just, you know, working every day and hoping that, um, you know, I do get, you know, my chance to, you know, prove myself. But, yeah, I mean, I'd say, yeah, you know, defense, you know, rebounding, and then, you know, obviously scoring comes with that. But, um, yeah. Thanks, Brandon. Yep. Brandon, I'm curious how you're approaching this NCAA freebie year that you're, you're kind of getting, because technically next year you'll come back listed as a freshman as well. It seems like this is the best of the both worlds prep school option that you had a year ago today. Um, and, and even if you don't get on the floor, this is this is maybe the best of both worlds for your development. Yeah, sure. No, yeah, like you said, I mean, um, you know, obviously redshirt was a big um, topic or just, you know, thought process for me, you know, kind of going into this, but then, you know, finding out that, you know, everyone's going to get this, you know, year back anyways. Um, so I'm, you know, kind of really, really, it hasn't really changed much on my end, you know, I'm approaching it, you know, the same way just every day, you know, I know it's a process, um, you know, putting on, you know, weight strength, that's obviously, you know, going to translate to, you know, on the court. Um, but at the same time, you know, if I can, you know, get, I think a couple, you know, game reps, you know, if we're, you know, it's, whatever kind of game, maybe blow out game or something like that. I think that could be, you know, kind of invaluable going forward. Um, you know, just seeing the level of competition, like I said, you know, adjusting to that. Um, and again, like you said, it, it's basically a red shirt year anyways, whether you play or not. So, you know, it's really kind of the same, you know, mindset going forward for me. And on the other hand, I don't know if you're familiar with what's been going on with the football team, but it, it would seem like because of COVID and because of contact tracing, it would seem like the 11th, 12th and 13th guy, on, on your team down that bench really has to be ready to play just simply if you guys get hit with COVID and you get hit with contact tracing. Right. No, yeah, that's, uh, that's another great point. You know, that again, like, you know, guys could, you know, you end up missing 21 days, um, you know, if, if someone tests positive, cause you know, they have the whole, um, you know, carditis, that, that whole deal. So it's not, you know, it's, it's definitely not something to, you know, take lightly. And, you know, I'm, I'm preparing in, in that sense too, obviously, you know, you know, physically, I think, you know, every day I'm, I'm going to get to that point where I can be, you know, a major, a major key factor on this team. But, you know, at the same time, you know, I kind of got to be ready if my number is called on, um, you know, if that time comes. Thanks, Brandon. Yep. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Uh, question, I know you talked about strength, you know, being a part of your um, factor as far as playing college basketball, but can you tell us, what part of your game do you think you've improved on? Things that you that you've noticed that the coaches have helped you with to say, hey, you know what, I can do this or I can do this before I got to Illinois. Um, yeah, sure. You know, I think, you know, for me, um, you know, I think in terms, I mean, I I can I can go, you know, both offensively and defensively. You know, offensively I've been, you know, working a lot, you know, on my shot, um, you know, with a ton, you know, putting a lot of work with, you know, um Coach O and um, working a lot with Coach Hammer too, and I think you know that's been that's been big for me. You know, just a lot of different you know shot mechanics, um, you know ball handling, because you know as you know it's bigs. You know, being able to stretch the floor is um, valuable for for someone at my size going forward. And then I think the same goes for defensively. Um, uh, again, you know that mentality and bringing that physicality and being able to you know kind of throw your body in there. Um, you know, again, you know uh, you know being putting on weight strength is going to help in all in both of those areas eventually but again having that um that mentality to you know not be scared and you know kind of just you know be going in with you know I'm, I'm you know either way whether you know I'm not as you know physically advantaged as them but um you know, kind of just throwing my body in there I guess not you know asking for any like preseason rankings but when you look at this team you know some of the other guys talked about you know what they look like on paper you know, what's your assessment of the team overall, just from a talent standpoint? Are you impressed? Do you think there's still work to be done, or are you in awe still? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, I think seeing just like the the talent we have, and you know, I've, I've been I've been a fan for a few years now, and kind of watched, you know, the program especially in the last three years, just kind of just continue to build up, and you know, and right now, you know, we have we have all the talent, um, you know, I think to compete with with any team in the country. Um, and then, you know, like you said, kind of that awe factor is definitely first, and kind of, you know, surreal to see, you know, these guys in practice, but at the same time, you know, watching them every day and, and kind of seeing how we're all coming together. Um, you know, it's, it, it, 
you got a really good feeling, you know, going into the season. I think we can do, um, you know, a lot of damage. But, you know, at the same time, there's always every team, you know, has got work to be done. And you got to have that, you know, kind of collectiveness if you want to, you know, make a, you know, make a good run um, in any of those areas. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay, we're going to go back to Scott. Yes, you know, Brandon, uh, do you remember maybe the first time you went up against Kofi you know, in practice, maybe the first time he posted you up? I mean, just what was that like going up against, you know, seven foot, 285 and strong? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say, you know, I, at this point, you know, it's kind of, it's been, you know, being here for three months. I don't know if I remember that very first one, but I do, you know, remember those first three practices, you know, just kind of feeling his, um, you know, physicality and, you know, getting used to that um, definitely took, you know, a few weeks, even up to a month. But, you know, at this point, I think, again, I know, I know my limits and, and you know, how much I can do, but, you know, at that, and at the same time, it's, I'm not going to say, you know, there's not something I, you know, can't do in terms of guarding him, you know, I'm able to use my length and, um, you know, you know, the strength that, you know, that I have, um, but, you know, it's, again, I think just learning, you know, so much from him in these short few months and obviously it's going to be, you know, much more, you know, in the next, you know, during the season and, and throughout um, you know, the postseason as well. But, yeah, no, it's it's definitely, I'd say, I don't, I don't know if I remember the first one exactly, um, but, you know, I, that progression, I, just, I can definitely notice that. I mean, what do you think about, you know, just maybe the opportunity that you have to challenge yourself literally on a daily basis against you know, a guy that was the Big Ten freshman of the year last year and, you know, kind of a preseason all Big Ten type, you know, center. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, you know, like I was kind of, kind of saying, I think just learning from him, you know, through this year and being able to carry, carry that over um, to, you know, my next, however many years I have here, um, you know, I think that's going to be, you know, so valuable for me again, you know, challenging, like you said, it's a challenge every single day and I got to bring, um, you know, kind of like I was saying earlier, that mentality is such a big part of it, you know, um, cause you know, if I'm thinking, you know, I'm, so, you know, I'm not, obviously not, you know, physically at that level with him. But if, you know, if that's my thought process every day, then I'm really not going to be improving. But, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's been the opposite for me. And, you know, every day I'm kind of learning new things. And, you know, I think he's really kind of taken uh, me and all the other freshmen kind of under his wing and just, you know, teaching, like, you know, he'll teach me things about how to guard him because, you know, he's so big and he knows, you know, what, what, you know, defenders need to be able to do um, in order to like stop someone like him with his skill set. Thank you. Okay, Joy. Hey, Brandon, I know, you know, when you were going through the recruiting process, Fletch and the involvement that he would have was, you know, made pretty clear to you in that. But what's it been like in person and working with him? And I'm sure the first few days were, were probably pretty sore afterwards. But what's that process been like? Um, yeah, you know, he's – you know, uh, there's really no doubt, you know, why, you know, you hear people always talking about why he's the best of the best and, you know, every, every program wants him because, you know, just his knowledge um, and, and, you know, his, his expertise with all of this stuff, you know, in the weight room and nutrition and all of it together um, is really next level. And yeah, I mean, obviously it, it took some adjusting, you know, as with, as, you know, same with, you know, actual practice, you know, the lifting part of it was, you know, obviously just as important for me and kind of, you know, getting my body used to that. Um, you know, every day. And obviously for me, you know, I, I need, you know, specifically might not need, you know, the same strengthening areas as some other guys on the team might. And, you know, had the, the way he's, you know, able to, you know, realize that and really, um, you know, kind of work, you know, work with me and, and every day, um, you know, check in on me. It's, I'm just, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really lucky to have him at this point. Um, you know, I really couldn't ask for someone better. And then you mentioned the awe factor. When did that, I'm, I'm assuming at this point, maybe it's gone away a little bit, but you've grown up as a fan. You watched these guys on TV literally last year. Did that, like, when did that kind of settle down and you were just, you know, this is just your, you know, you're a part of this team now. Right. Yeah, no, I, and I think, um, you know, like I said, you know, again, that first couple of weeks, you know, just kind of seeing, all of us running together, you know, in practice, obviously, you know, we, the way we you know, kind of moved into official practice was different than a normal year because of, you know, COVID, we were doing a little more individual workouts. So, you know, I kind of got to see, you know, Kofi and, you know, we were, we were working a lot together. Um, and then that kind of transitioned, obviously, 
you know, when Io came back and, you know, not even, you know, Trent too. And we got a lot of good players. Um, but yeah, you know, I think I once, you know, once about a week or two and once we, you know, started playing, you know, up and down and I just see how hard these guys go. And, the, you know, the fact that I'm, you know, as a teammate, I'm, you know, just equal as them. And, you know, we're all, we're all working towards the same thing here. And it's not, it's, it's not like you're, you know, in an AU game and, you know, you're playing against some five-star, you know, prospect and then your team is, you know, getting killed by 30 points. It's, it's not like that at all. It's, you know, we're all kind of on that, at that same, you know, level, which is, is really cool. Cool. Thanks a lot. Hey, Brandon, when we talked with Miller and Curbelo, they, they spoke of playing in particular groups, like they were always on the same team against Trent and Io. Are you finding yourself in the same group of guys on, on one particular team in scrimmage? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think, you know, that's the really cool thing about it is that, you know, how much we switch it up. Um, but again, you know, for me, obviously, um, you know, we do, you know, different, you know, scout based stuff to try to give, you know, that, that first, you know, those top seven, eight rotation guys, um, you know, good looks for, you know, the team, maybe where the team we're playing or, you know, just giving them different defensive or offensive looks, um, you know, some, you know, definitely, I wouldn't say, you know, it's kind of that set same five, five guys, you know, that's what's kind of cool is being able to, you know, play, you know, with these guys as if you were in, you know, a real game with them. Um, and then, you know, switching it up again, where we do go against that, you know, that top five group. And then it's, you know, that what they call it scout team, um, you know, sort of giving them different looks, but, you know, it really isn't, you know, a kind of a set five. We kind of, you know, mix it up a lot, which is, which is really cool to see. And we're going to have Coleman here on the Zoom just after this. So are you playing usually on the same team with Coleman? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, obviously, it, again, it, it changes up a lot. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I think both of us coming in, you know, as, you know, at, um, as freshmen and same with, you know, at Adam and Carbello. You know, there's times where, you know, Coach will put all four freshmen on the same team just because, you know, he wants to see how we're going to take it. And, you know, he'll put a, a senior guy with us um, and, you know, kind of see how we'll, you know, progress and, and, and handle that, um, you know, challenging us in different ways in practice, which, you know, I think has really been really valuable for us. So. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Is that everything for Brandon? All righty. Appreciate it, Brandon. You can leave that running and uh, come on out and then I'll get Coleman in. Thank you. All right, cool. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Brandon. Yep. Brandon.